This year, there was some controversy around the seating at major events. Some people would argue that Mango seemed to be seated too low, and some people would also argue that Leffen was seated too high. I'm here to figure out who was actually seated the most accurately throughout the year of 2022. To do this, I'm going to look at the seedings and placements for 8 players. Zane, IBDW, Jmook, Hungrybox, Leffen, Amsa, Plup, and Mango, and I'm going to compare the data over 11 tournaments. Of course, not every player attended every event, so for those who attended more, I will have a bigger and clearer picture on how well TOs perceived their ability to place highly or poorly. Before I get into all of the information, I need to explain what I will be measuring and how. The main measurement I will use is Seating Placement Rating or SPR. SPR is calculated by looking at the player's seating, comparing it with the actual placement at that tournament, and counting how many placements away they were from their seating. For example, a player who is predicted to get 4th and placed 9th was 3 placements away from their actual seeding. In this case, Mango's SPR at Smash Summit 13 was negative 3. A positive and negative result will tell us how much that player overperforms if it's positive or underperforms if it's negative compared to their seed. The second statistic we will look at is the absolute value of the SPR. The absolute value of the SPR is just the positive value of the SPR. For example, a negative 2 SPR will become 2, and a negative 4 SPR will become 4. This will tell us how much each player's placement has deviated from their seed, regardless if it's an overperformance or an underperformance, as a positive number. Now that I've gone through all of that, let's look at the data. The beloved Marth main Zane attended 10 out of 11 events this year. He scored an average of negative 1.4 SPR and 2.4 for the average absolute value of SPR. The average SPR tells us that he generally underperforms quite a bit compared to his seed, and the average absolute value of SPR tells us that he deviates from his seed about 2.4 placements per tournament. Why is this the case though? Zane was actually seeded first in almost half of the events which he attended, which means that he cannot actually perform higher than his seed at these events. But he was considered the best player at these events, so regardless of being able to outperform his seed, he could have still achieved a much higher rating by not underperforming as much as he did in these events. At one point in the year, some would say that IBDW was the best player in the world. Out of all the players in this list, IBDW had the lowest absolute SPR, which means that he was the most accurately seeded. When we take a look at his performances over the year, he was seeded exactly where he placed at Genesis 8 and the Big House 10. The biggest outlier here was his SPR value of negative 5 at the Ludwig Smash Invitational where he was seeded to play 2nd and actually placed 9th. Jmook's year started off with a bang. His breakout performance at Genesis 8 is the biggest outlier in the dataset because no one else placed 7 spots higher than expected. It's interesting to note that in 5 out of the 8 events he entered, Jmook was seeded within 1 spot of his placement, meaning that the seeds were pretty accurate in general but the big outlier in Genesis 8 would have skewed his results slightly. The solo puff main was the only player who attended every event in the dataset this year. His rise back to the top after a slump period shows that his puff is here to stay. The two performances that drag his SPR rating down are Double Down 2022 and The Big House 10. At Double Down 2022, he was seeded second and placed seventh, whereas in The Big House 10, he was seeded first and placed fifth. Europe's finest barely entered any events this year, so my data on him is limited. Leffen had pretty large SPR values on the whole, but it's interesting to see that they skew slightly positive. His absolute SPR is the highest in the dataset, meaning that he actually deviates 3.25 from his seed on average per tournament. Leffen's smallest SPR was minus 2 at Smash Summit 13, and his largest value was plus or minus 4. The Red Yoshi main's SPR was pretty scattered this year, but no one can forget his run at the big house where he made history by winning his first super major and being the first Yoshi ever to do so. Yoshi! On one hand, he was seeded where he placed at Battle of BC 4, but on the other hand, he placed 3 spots lower than expected at Get On My Level 2022 and the Ludwig Smash Invitational. Plup had the highest average SPR out of everyone, which means that he outperformed his seed the most. Plup started the year off great outperforming his seed with two positive SPRs at Genesis 8 and Smash Summit 13. However, his latter half of the year had him underperforming at Riptide 2022 and matching his seed at Lost Tech City 2022. And last but not least, we have Mango. He slightly underperformed, as shown with his negative 0.25 average SPR. 
and he had an average absolute SBR of 3.25, which is tied with Leffen for the largest deviation from their seed per tournament. Furthermore, his SBR was volatile throughout the year. His 9th place at Genesis despite being seeded first looks like a huge underperformance, but his better performances at other events kind of balances this out. In my opinion, I do feel like the seeding for Mango and Leffen was pretty inaccurate. Anything above a 3 average absolute value for SBR just seems a bit too big for me, but that's just me. It's important that I make it clear what the limitations of using SBR and average absolute SBR are. These stats only describe how accurate the seeding was, because if the seeding is on point, regardless of any other factor, it was accurate. Thus, we can't really explain the cause. It could be either that the players were inconsistent, or that the TOs did a bad job of predicting placements. So let me know in the comments who you think was inconsistent or had huge peaks this year, or which tournaments you think had terrible seeding and why. Thank you guys for watching.